games. That's a big game to It's still holding though, bro. It's still like just as wide as we left it. That's pretty exciting. Okay, okay yeah. So let's go lot spread first. Okay. Get that nice and open. We should do it before and after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before and after for sure. Properly done, man. I really like how that low lap throw out too on the right, man. All right, let's see what we can do. Hold this and spread it. From there, I'm gonna take this and spread it. So all this is gonna come in. I think I can give you some width there. As always, you're gonna need a touch up on that low lap. Yep. Same deal, it's gonna spread out though, okay? So let's get a let's get a cup on it first. It's tight on the top and the bottom. Yep. So we'll open it up first. What we'll do now is remove the top layer of fascia so we can work with what's underneath. Stuff underneath by the bone is what's holding his back together. I wanna to open it up. So we got to kind of get both. I can't get to the under layers unless I get through the top layers. At the same time, I'm trying to save his skin. You don't want to do too much damage to the epidermis. Otherwise, it'll start the rebuild process over again. It'll be tight in a couple days, which will kill me. Again, cupping a little more for the top layer of fascia. doing this as a pre-treatment. You know what? The actual goal of this session, he doesn't have any issues to solve anymore. He's been pain-free for like a year now. So like most of the time when Dusty sees me, it's to help him prime a muscle, open it up so he can train it, make it bigger, bring it up for his show or for his overall look or Every once in a while, you have a mechanical issue where I need to look at maybe an exercise or two, but most of the time he has a pretty good idea. Last few years, he's been able to really hone in on some things and he directs most of his own treatment with any healer that he's ever worked with, you know? Yeah, so this the goal of this session is just get wider. Open up his lat spread, throw off his waist, you know, make it look a little smaller. It's all, I mean, it's not like we're gonna build anything right now. We're just pulling out what he already built. It's probably just tight from training like a monster. It's those rows, Dusty. <laughs> it's like his trademark. Every time you post something on that, I'll get like texts from random clients like, Dusty's a beast. I was like, I know he's animal, right? <laughs> so now, the top layer of fascia is done. So now it's squishy. It's good, I can work with it. You can see how much looser it is. Now I'm gonna clean up the stuff underneath with a scraper. Um, skin isn't too bad. I think we're good to go. Same deal though, you're trying to preserve the skin as much as you can. So this is a myodynamic edge. Dusty's favorite tool. Um, kind of my favorite tool in all honesty. I wish I got a bigger form of it, but um, yeah, the edge, it's like a comb. So it allows things to kind of pass through. So you're not really jamming up on the skin or even the muscle knots. Allows a true shaving effect, which is ideal for Istan scraping. So now the scraping is gonna take care of this stuff on the bottom, the fascia underneath the muscle by the bone. This is the more important fascia because it's by the trigger points. Now I'm trying to push everything towards his lymph nodes in his hip, which is kind of the way the erectors and rhomboids and traps flow. This will speed recovery, make sure his body can ditch the toxins. Sorry, Dusty. Uh -huh. So you can see everything kind of opening up. Last year or so, we've been using some of these techniques to etch out some different muscles. Like this guy's brand new. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but he didn't have that a couple years ago. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> now at one point I was looking at it, I was like, I gotta figure out how to turn this off. He's like, no, 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 no. We need to build this side. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> you know, the way you look at it with general population versus a bodybuilder is a trip. Yeah, so it allows for fullness. It's a superficial damage. and just cleans off scar tissue and things that are restricting blood flow. 
So your body in response to the actual therapy will push a ton of blood into the muscle, thus giving it a nice pump, kind of like he's training it. From here we can kind of see whatever is uneven and etch out whatever we want. Now what's really cool is thus is so close to the show and everything's popping so good, it allows me a much, I guess, more active uh, learning curve where I guess I can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So it really helps me hone in on a lot of the other clients that I work on just because I have a great example of what it should be. Now you see that technically it's done. We're gonna go one step further, run a cup over whatever I broke the cup. So all this does is gonna pull all that muscle apart even more. I'm really kind of looking at this area to be honest with you. I want this to flare out a little bit more. But yeah, it's just that extra step. Try and go for my man. Also the cup size matters too, you know. If I'm trying to break something apart, I'll use something smaller. I'm trying to just pull everything open as a finisher, I'm definitely gonna use a bigger cup. Dusty usually gets the biggest cups. So what you see on IG a lot and different different techniques, not that anything's worse or bad, but rather than using 30 cups and then going and kind of making it and sitting there for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm gonna use what we call a cup scrape. So all this does, it just allows for a more thorough cleanup opens things up a little more easy as opposed to leaving a cup you're going to leave a little spot around it next cup leave a little spot the fascia kind of grows back from that little bit you miss it only happens on some of the the freaks you know like different genetics different people work differently with different therapies generally speaking bodybuilders have highly developed nervous systems so their bodies start adjusting the therapy almost immediately if you don't do a thorough job probably not going to help So this is the Theragun. Percussion therapy has been around for a while. Theragun is just one of the first people to make it mobile and convenient. So what we're gonna do is take it and just push all the blood. It creates a temporary flexion of blood flow. So it's almost like superficial damage kind of punches the muscle as opposed to like a vibration. This is gonna actually get it to like give up. You know, you wanna let that trigger point go. Either way, it makes it a much wider back here. Give it some space to go. Thus he uses one as a pre-treatment. Like his pre-training warm-up includes a bunch of percussion. Some patterns he knows that'll help him grow. Like I said, not necessarily a temporary fix, but it facilitates motion once you get all the fascia cleaned up. So having a variety of tools, different edges, this one's a little more blunt, also has a different degree, you know, different angles. It just gets a lot easier depending on what, what kind of muscle it is. It'll kind of tell you through the density and through the feel on what's gonna work and what's not. So for Dusty, I've actually had to buy extra tools, different things that kind of keep it moving, you know? Quadrangular from Morham. It does see his ankle. Got hurt here a really long time ago. And a lot of this stuff kind of shut down because of the way his ankles are moving. Your stride will get less and less and less. So eventually this was doing a lot of the work that say the glute was supposed to do. Made him a little twisty. percussion itself. You can see the drops. Okay, keep twisting these. It's also a good opportunity for him to get a little bit of extra posing in. All right, lock it in, boy. Just go 15 seconds. Okay, you 
looks like. I can't really watch figure if that looks good. It's like a Ninja Turtle shell. Uh, we just finished up here at Diesel Gym. Dom here, doing what he does best. What we come in here and do, I mean, I want to do this video primarily because it's, it's not just so many people that have seen me and have seen the changes I've made in my physique and they're like, oh, what'd you change in your training? What'd you change in your diet? And when I tell them the only thing I changed is how the muscle was taken care of and the work that Dom's done and the homework he's given me to do is kind of the key. So if you're around Arizona, get a hold of Dom. If you're in town for trips, hit me up, hit him up on his uh, Instagram or, or find me and uh, we'll get you guys set up. If not, you can find a half-assed version of him somewhere where you live, but you should probably just move here and see Dom, so. Instagram Absolutely, it's, it's at, at physiquesmith01 on Instagram, um, but I'm, I'm easily reached, just type in Estem Scraping or Cupping Therapy Arizona. You know, we try and hashtag everything, but uh, appreciate you, Dusty, man, you know. Definitely want you guys to come out. Everyone needs work. You know, let me show you something cool. I swear to God, I won't let you down, all right? Until next time.